EnviroPrint, Ideas into Action. This group inspires youth to make positive imprints on their environment through childhood and beyond. And this talented group has been active in two Chicago area schools. Please welcome EnviroPrint. Hi, we're Enviroprint Ideas Into Action. We notice how the media tells students all these different ways how the environment is being harmed, but not very many ways they could help. So we wanted to show students how they can make a positive imprint on their environment. Thus, inspired by IIT Boeing Scholars Academy, we created Enviroprint. Enviroprint is a weekly after school program for elementary students that shows them different ways they could have a positive impact or imprint on their environment. We rotate themes every few weeks, and so far we have done biodiversity, global warming, and prototyping. Okay, so the first theme that we decided to do was global warming. We figured that a lot of kids have heard these words, global warming, but they didn't really know what it was all about. So we did a simple introduction to like basic concepts of what global warming was. It came along with this activity and we taught the students what, about carbon footprints and so we helped them calculate their own carbon footprint. We asked a variety of questions to them and depending on their answer, they would go and get a different color sticker. They each ended up with something that looked like this and so by the end, they would see the, the impact that they already have on their environment, whether it was positive or negative and at the end, we tallied everything up and we made an analysis of the class scores and each kid learned what they could do in order to lower their um, carbon footprint. One of our students brought back a book the, that same day and she started teaching her classmates what, she, what they could all do so that they could lower their carbon footprint. And so by this, we all learned that in order to learn a subject, we had to teach it to somebody else. Okay, so our second theme was prototyping and we, gave the students a simple prompt. We said, pick a problem and come up with a solution. And we really wanted to emphasize creativity, innovation, and collaboration. With, and we really wanted the students to be able to think outside the box. So we each led small group discussions where they were able to come up with a problem statement and a solution. And I had the privilege with working with a small group who's decided that there was the problem of getting to school. How do we get to school faster in the morning? And they noticed that there was more room in the air, so they decided to create a flying car. And as you can see, this is their sketch, what they came up with. And they really thought out all the nitty gritty details. They had fireproof material, strategically placed next to the turbo booster for safety. Um, they also decided that landfills um, were a problem, so they decided they could get rid of that problem by making the car run on garbage. And <laughs> they also wanted to make it super eco-friendly, so they had solar panels, windmills, um, various uh, equipment attached to the car, and they also thought that as you rise up higher into the atmosphere, you're more exposed to the sunlight, so you get an infinite amount of sunglasses with the car. <laughs> and so then, based off of that, they were able to build their prototype. And in case you couldn't tell, that's the car. And based off of that, then they presented it to their classmates. So the most recent activity we did and concept that we talked about was biodiversity. And so we just wanted to show you an example of an activity we did. And so we made up this game called Biodiversity Musical Chairs. Basically, the concept of elimination was the same. Every kid, some kids would get out each round. But the thing was, every kid represented a different organism. So when one kid got out, we would explain a chain reaction that would happen if one species or one organism was missing from that environment. And so from this, they learned that each individual was important to an ecosystem and how everything in the world is linked together and how we all help each other to survive. 
And so we did this program for about 10 weeks, and so far they were really satisfied. They were receiving this program really well, and they had a lot of fun doing this. So um, all this really begs the question, um, what are you going to do with this next year and in the future? And uh, overall, we plan to continue the program. Um, this year's program will go until May, but um, next year we'll continue again. And the plan is to not only continue at the schools we were at, but expand to other schools. Um, we've surveyed the students somewhat to see what they like, but we want to do more and see how we, see how we can improve the program. And then we need, of course, more manpower to expand to more schools. So recruit volunteers, both from the Boeing Scholars Program and from other places like the National Honor Society. And finally, update the blog that has been going along with the program to let others know what exactly we've been doing throughout the year. Yeah. Thank you for all the help that we've received through this.